Selector so select a YB. You're locked into the style and pattern show, man. I told you lot time after time, I got a special, special guest for you lot in the building, man. The one and only Weasel, man. What are you saying, my brother? How you, how you doing, my bro? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Where you coming from? Where you coming from, though? Chat to me, man. What? Where in today? Yeah, yeah, where you coming from? How's your day been? My day's been all right. I just came from the bars. Enjoying the rain? Yeah, yeah fresh trim. Looking oh. nice, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm the type of guy I don't really do too much with the shape up. I try yeah. to keep it tight. How do you keep your edges, edges though? Keep the edges? Yeah. Just don't touch the shape Don't up. touch the shape up, yeah. Just leave it. Weasel in the building, man. My soul selector YB, the style and pattern show. I asked you though, where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Well, originally, um, originally I'm from like Custom House. Custom House, in so East London. Of, yeah, I was born okay. in Newham. Um, yeah. But then like my family are all from like Newham anyway. Okay. Like all over Newham. Yeah. Um, but as I reached a certain age, about I say roughly just seven or so, I moved to South London. So okay. I've got both of sides, South London. Yeah, and yeah, East yeah, London. yeah, yeah. East London, man, the home of music in London. Mm-hmm. My bad, my bad. How was it like growing up in East London, Newham, man? How has that influenced you to become like an artist? Who was you listening to growing up? Well, me personally, because I left East London like kind of early in my life, and I grew up in South London. Yeah, I'd more like kind of listen to. Like think people like Crepton Corner and R.A. Okay. I don't know if people know R.A. but I listen to R.A. a lot okay. when I was young. So a lot of aggressive music. Yeah. And also yeah. I'm, I'm Jamaican, so okay. we used to Bashman. So all yeah. I ever know in my house is just... So that was pumping at home all the time? Yeah, Bashman. Yeah, Bashman. Okay. So yeah, okay. that's what it is. So would you say like you come from a music-oriented family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My okay. dad um, has always been in music. So my dad like does a lot of DJing. Okay. Um, yeah, that's mainly where I probably where I get it from, you know. Big up Pops, man. Big up Weezer in the building, man. I've got one thing to talk to you about, though. Your Instagram, man. Mm. How are you so styly? <laughs> How are you so styly, man? No, I was putting your Instagram, man. Like, the yeah. outfits are just like, you know what yeah, I mean? I Tell know. us the secret, man. Step, step by step secret. I don't know. Nowadays, I just try to keep it simple. When I was younger, I used to yeah. like doing the designer stuff. You know, like how everyone does yeah, the yeah. spending money. I don't yeah. do it no more. I can't do that. So I just keep it simple. I'll go normal places, Zara, Top Shop. Zara, yeah. I just mix match. So you're telling the people though, you don't have to spend a lot to be saucy like you? No, you don't. I, but that's I don't spend a lot either. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So What's just, your favorite shop? Where are you shopping right now, man? Um one place. I like personally, I like Top Man. Top Man, yeah. Yeah, so if anyone like likes casual wear but once yeah. it looks like I say I go personally to a top man okay but now I'm trying to do this granddad look you know the cardigan yeah <laughs> old school yeah old school keep it original it's growing we- up now <laughs> Weasel in the building man chat to me though where's your name from man Weasel right cool how so did you get that name the name is from okay women's in school me Kojo I went to school with Kojo Kojo fans yeah and that like, everyone from like that kind of era custom house at my at that stage of my life everyone used to rap yeah. In school, I used to rap a lot. Okay. So I, I was known as one of the best spitters in our year. Um, and then, obviously, Lil Wayne was sick at the time. Yeah, innit? yeah. Wheezy, innit? He was sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what my brethren used to call me, they used to call me, obviously, my first initial of my name, and then Wheeze. So they say the, fish, the uh, initial of my name, and then Wheeze, innit? And as I got older, I started doing music last year. Kojo told me to start doing Last music. year? Yeah, he, t- he told me Damn. to start doing it properly. Damn. And then they was like, what name are you going to use? And I was like, fuck it, just... Weasel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but they just said, yeah, forget it. Just do Weasel, innit? So. Whoa. Chat to me, though, man. The first time, like, you decided... The, in fact, the first time you stepped in a booth and recorded a song. Mm-hmm. I don't know how old you was. Like, tell us. Tell us about that, man. Oh, I started recording songs. Do you remember your first bars? No, I don't. You, you know, don't remember them? I was grime. Okay. The first time I ever okay. rapped, did music was grime. I used to record them in my cupboard in my house <laughs> on, on Audacity. Audacity. You, yeah, you use one of the... The headset mics, the internet cast mics. Yeah, 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 one of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. MSN days. MSN, I used to record yeah, on, yeah. I used to record on that. And when I grew up, I used to like record songs. And where I lived in like South London, yeah, all of the, all my friends were like during this time like fifteen. Yeah. So they're the older boys, and I used to go around and give my, I gave them my CDs and tell them to listen okay. to my songs. So. so you was grinding from early then. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah, okay. Trying, but trying. again, the first time you was in the studio, man, like the first proper time you was in the studio, like the proper studio, proper studio. Yeah, man. And I recorded personally. And you recorded personally, yeah. Um, you know, I never really used to go to studios, you know. You never? No, it was, it was, we used to just record at home. All I ever knew, my cousin's house, record. The first studio session I think I ever went to, like, I don't even know where I recorded was, I can't even think of it. I don't even remember. To be honest with you, I don't remember. Because my dad always bought me sh- proper studio. Yeah. So I've always been in the studio, but I don't know where I recorded okay, personally. Okay, okay, man. 
I hear a lot of artists also saying that like they were good at rapping when they were young, but they just never went studio or they never decided to yeah. take it serious. Yeah. Like what what prevented you from that? Was it like education or just your nah. par- your family accepting you doing music? No, nah, my, 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 my family, like my mom and my dad, they they thought that's something I always would have done. I'm done it? eventually. Like, yeah. Obviously, football was something that every parent wants yeah. a kid to do. Was you any good at football? Yeah, I was good at football, but I didn't yeah. want to do. I didn't want to do football. Okay. I didn't want to personally do it because I knew that's what for me. Yeah. Um, but what made me like kind of want to do music? If that was obviously that's a question, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I just always loved music. I've always just always done music, so I've okay. always loved it. Yeah, my dad probably maybe always wanted to do music. That's it. Okay. Being around people like Kojo Funds, like you said, how was it like pushed you? Like seeing them reach so so much heights, has it made you think like you can do just as good as them? Yeah, but you know it is. At stage when I was doing it, I thought I always thought, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do music, I'm gonna be a rapper, because yeah. obviously days when you send yeah. ch- songs out to people like on MP3s and that. And then I got to like 15, and me and my cousin was doing music, and then he was like, oh, music's dead, like it ain't going on radio, we're yeah, not making money yeah, off of it. Yeah. So I kind of, because I was always around older people, if they say something, I kind of will take it as a le- life yeah. lesson, innit? Yeah. So I kind of stopped doing it, and seeing Kojo doing it now. It's like yeah, it actually works. I'm seeing other rappers actually making music, making money from it. Yeah, that's the only reason why I do it. Other than that, I would never do music. Okay, I wouldn't. Do, I love it, but I wouldn't do it because I don't want to be bait for no reason. For no I mean? reason. It's difficult, yeah. man. It's not good to be bait and broke. Exactly. It's not good, man. It's not good. Yeah. We're in the building, man. My soul selector YB. Yep. But I like, I'm a bit of a. I don't know how to say it, man. I like to know about people quite a bit. So like, that's yeah, good. I like that as well. In school, man, how was you like education wise, like? Good so, grades, bad grades, messing about, class clown. Nah, I, I was, I was a very, I don't know, I can't even explain myself how I was in school. I right, cool, put it this way. I was a good kid. Yeah. I went to lessons that I wanted to go to. Yeah. And that was majority of my lessons. Yeah. But that things that I didn't feel like was beneficial to me, I wouldn't go to. Okay. So I went to all my lessons, but I never knew how important it was to actually listen and actually do my work. Yeah. Now, if I went to school now, I would I'll go back and do everything. Like, okay. I probably won't even do music. I'll probably do something like plumbing. I wish someone told me about those types of things. Apprenticeships and stuff, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. So what did you finish GCSEs, going to college, uni? Yeah, I went to college. I imagine I've done music in college as well. Okay. Yeah, I've done music in college. So it's just I feel like it's just something that's second nature to you. So you didn't even bother not to not try necessarily, but you always knew it would come. Yeah, it was just natural. It was just the first thing I could think yeah. of to do in college. I just said, you know what, I'm just gonna go do music. And I done music in college. Learn how to produce and stuff like so that. So you can so. produce. Can you mix and master? That no, stuff? I can't, that's the only thing I can't do. Yeah. I don't know how to mix and master. Have you ever produced some of your own songs or for other people? Um, not. I've, I, I engineer my own sessions, yeah. but then I wouldn't. Like, I don't mix and master it. Okay. So I've got my presets and stuff set okay. out already, so I can record myself. Okay. But someone will mix and master it. And then that's about it. Weezer in the building, man. My self selector YB. The first time I came across you was from the song Ain't the Same with Kojo yeah. Fans, Abracadabra. Tell me about that, man. How did that come along, man? Honestly, that's a that's a big that's a big feature, man. You had the opening verse, man, and you you showed it, man. You came with like the energy Thanks. was just mad, man. Thanks. Tell me about that, man. Um, with that song, me. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Is that your first single that's out there? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, that was the first song I actually actually put out. Put out there, yeah. For YouTube, for people. Okay, to actually yeah. Hear it. Um. He was in the studio, me, Trix, and Coach, and I can't remember who else was in the studio it was. But it was there, and we went through, we was just going through beats. Going through beats. And then Trix and Coach just heard this beat. We all heard this beat, and I was like, yeah, this is the one. And yeah. then I just went in before Coach had even done the, the chorus. That's why my part of the song is kind of random in a yeah. way. Like, I'm speaking about girls at the beginning, yeah. and then I switch into like money and Yeah, 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 like yeah, that. I understand. Because my verse, I've done it about four times. So I done four different verses and then they chopped it. I like chopped the first four. And put them together. Put it together. Okay. I, don't, I don't write lyrics. How do you, I don't write. We're gonna get into that. We're gonna get you into that, man. So I, I just go in and then say the first few things that come into my head. Stop. And yeah. Then record. And then another record. Four and then you. Yeah, you know I'm saying so. That's crazy, man. You're that's crazy, man. But you mm. you're lyrical, man. Like you've got buzz. Yeah, exactly. I will not lie. You've got buzz. You've got flow. Thanks, man, what is your writing process, man? Um. All right. So how we normally do it a lot of people say it's like the singer's way of recording yeah we make we'll make like a melody first i, I learned this from 
I don't know if people will know some old PDC guy when I was young. Like, he was basically like an uncle. He used to just make a melody, say like rubbish, like make up words, put down that, and then put the words in. Okay. So off of the melody, you put the words in. So if I go, no, 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 no. Just add lyrics the, to that. I'ma come, like yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's how we do it. Okay, Easy. man. That's crazy, man, that's crazy, man. So back to the song, Ain't The Same, man. You've been told that Kojo, Abra and that are on the feature, man. How does that make you feel like? Obviously you knew already, but how does how does it how did it make you feel knowing that song's gonna come out soon? Do you then think to yourself, man, nah, this music thing, man needs to yeah, you know, I, pattern I, I up and take it I serious. Thinking, I was thinking, nah, oh, this song's gonna come out, I'm gonna have to do music now, man. I'd be bait. That's What that. is it? <laughs> what is it that you like why don't you wanna do it, man? Like, nah, I wanna do it. I obviously I wanna do music. Yeah. But I wanna like I'm a person, I wanna do something if I haven't got the if I don't know the steps. Okay. What I'm doing. Okay. Like anything I've ever done, I've done it, and I, I know like the plan I'm gonna take. I'm gonna do this in the next couple months. I'm gonna do that. I'm a okay. very organized person, so okay. if I'm doing music, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna make myself bait, and then I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Like, I go anywhere, so I don't wanna be jumping out of a car. And yeah. I don't. Yeah. I'm not used to people, people just approaching me because I go anywhere. So imagine I'm in somewhere where I supposedly shouldn't be, and then people just come and approach me. I'm gonna think, bro, why? You? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So that's what I was going through my head, but now. It is what it is. But that's love as well, man. That's love as well, yeah, man. Know, People know, showing you that. That's love as well, man. Know, Honestly, man. You know what I mean? I'm but for it now, though. Back to that again, like, what is? Would you say that's a bit of fear? No, nah, I wouldn't say it's it's it's, it's fear. I say it's just it's like me being uncomfortable. Okay. Like, I just don't like feeling like I'm uncomfortable. I'm comfortable in places and situations. I don't like being putting myself in uncomfortable situations when I don't need to yeah so I'm saying so yeah. I would I wouldn't put myself in something if I know I'm gonna feel uncomfortable but it. it just don't make sense I, I'll stay away from it okay okay yeah. man we's in the building myself selective YB man you're under the same when I say management as Kojo funds man how did that come along that like? um our, our manager is our friend yeah that grew up in the era he's old enough but yeah we grew up in the same era all of us are grown up together everyone that you'll see us around We've all known each other for 10 years or more. Yeah. You'll never see anyone around any of us that we don't know. So that's how that came about. So he's Kojo's manager. I wanted, they wanted me to start doing music. So automatically, I'm was it, manager now. Was it me. a battle to get you in that booth though, man? To nah, say nah. like, I was, on, I was on holiday. I was on holiday and they messaged me and told me, oh, uh, where are you? Kojo messaged me and said, where are you? I'm going to say I'm on holiday. Like, I'm in yeah. a different country. It's like, yeah, when you get back, you're coming on radio. Yeah. From there, that was it. So Kojo seems to have a lot of faith in you, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see one video. I think it was on Kojo's Instagram when I think you lot performed that song. Yeah. When you done your verse, it went off, man. Yeah. And Kojo was just gas, man. <laughs> Seeing that energy, man. The crowd just. How was you feeling, man? I could tell a big smile on your face, man. Yeah, you know what is? I was nervous. <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Yeah, perform. yeah. I see you look back to the DJ. Yeah, you know? yeah I didn't want to perform. I told him if I perform, you all gotta pay me for this. Cause I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uncomfortable. I didn't want to do something. Yeah, you're making me do it. So, like, alright, cool. But I, it was a good feeling though to know that people actually want to hear me. Yeah. Like they actually want to hear me. Because sometimes when people say, oh, you're sick, I don't even believe it. Yeah. Like, do you really think I'm sick? I have to ask people, like, do you really, do you even do you know really? my lyrics? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do so you I, think you're hard though? I think you're hard. I think I, I, I wouldn't say, I just think I'm alright, innit? Why? Are you Some humble? people say I'm better. Other people might be better than me. Mm, I don't know. Mm. I understand, man. <laughs> He's on the building, myself, selector YB, man. So you've dropped this tune with Kojo and that. What's the reception like, man? Your family? Um, well, fam my family are the biggest fans of all fans. I can't even lie. Like, yeah. If you go on my Instagram, there's a video at a wedding and it looked like a show. Like, literally, like, you ever seen it on my Instagram? Yeah? Yeah, with the, with the, with the, with the, with the <laughs> rare nephew. It looked like a show. I can't lie. I could probably invite all my family members and they will sell out. The, the sh like the place rather than the actual fans like, that's how it is that's big support man that's big yeah. support man shout out to fans you're basically in the industry now man yeah kind of literally yeah. man so how's it like seeing all these people going to shows it must be nice man you know it's good it's that's something good. that you probably never managed Im imagine sir yeah at the same time I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to like seeing what else comes from it because I'm like an I'm like a basic person I'm very simple yeah like, I'm, no matter how big I get, I'm no different to anyone else in it. So yeah. when I see people that are big, I still treat you if you're a normal person. Yeah. Like if I'm talking to my friend, your name don't mean anything because at the same time, we're all human. Okay. But it feels good to be around them. But a lot of people, I don't really talk. When I'm around people, I don't really talk. A lot of people say, you're right, you look so like, 
Why you look so quiet? And but until you talk to me, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. actually a nice yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? What? So I don't really say much unless people talk to me. Okay. Do you know your own sound? No, I don't. Are I you don't still have finding yourself? I don't. I don't have a sound. So you're you're able to do everything? Would you say? Yeah, I like doing everything because I listen to a, all different types of music. If what's your favorite genre? What I like to listen to. Yeah. America. What's in your I, What's in your Spotify America, playlist like, right I now, man? I don't even listen to English. So who you banging right now in America, man? I listen to Little Dirk. Yeah, he's hard, man. Um, I listen to T Grizzly, NBA Youngboy. Who else is there? I listen to Migos automatically. I was just, I was listening to them from. You dress a bit like Youngboy, though. You think so? Yeah, man. It's a good thing though. He's got sauce, man. You're just a bit like him, man. He's got yeah. sauce, man. Simple, isn't it? Just simple, simple clothes. man. Casual. Simple. Do you know what I mean? You ain't yeah. gonna spend too much, man. So yeah, American music. A lot of American music I listen to mainly. Yeah. yeah. I can, no, you can still definitely see it in your sound, man. Yeah. My self selector YB, man. He's got Guzo in the building. Big blessing hey, coming on the show, it's my boy. Selector YB, are you buzzing? This one, call your funds, Weasel, Trick Sosa, Abracadabra, man. I'll let you introduce this one, my bro. So this one's We Ain't the Same, featuring me, Weasel. Trick Sosa, Abs, and on a chorus, Kojo Fons. I appreciate them. We ain't the same, you ain't one of us. I'm from a blow where guns will bust. We ain't the same, you ain't manning 